Hi and welcome ladies and gentlemen to a brand new episode of König and Bauer Live. Yesterday we talked about the digital transformation and many many new digital products here at König and Bauer. Today it's, uh, we will show you all the news in packaging printing but before we do that I would love to say hello to the CEO and recently announced CDO Ralf Zamek. Hello Ralf. Sven, good morning. It's beautiful, awesome and great here. The, the, the uh, audience can't see it yet, but we'll see it later. We're in the brand new customer experience center here in Radebeul. Why did you build such a huge thing here? Yeah, Sven, uh, as you know, Königenbauer, more than 200 years of history. So for us, most important is, of course, our, our customers. And therefore, we see always things long term. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we decided we want to be even more professional for our customers. So this, what you can see here today, is the packaging center, so our customer experience center, especially for packaging. But we also added a, a center for label and also for commercial printing. So the idea behind it is, if our customer comes to Radeboil, we want to make sure that he gets the most professional demonstration and that we can exchange ideas, experiences with top-notch professionals. And this is the idea behind it. And the good news is financially we are strong. We are strong so we can do an investment like this. And I'm extremely excited because today we will show everything about packaging. Today we will concentrate on printing and I'm really excited because we will introduce first time to the packaging industry our new machine generation. And you will see, you will be excited because this will be the benchmark in our industry. I'm 100% certain. And of course, this is one of the reasons why we did this edition because we really want to show the world what we can offer. And also we have new additional products. And this is also something you will see today, but also tomorrow in Postpress. Also on the Postpress side, we invested a lot over the last years and we will show you today the brand new sheet fed generation and tomorrow the brand new generation of Postpress and please see us also tomorrow. I, I'm, I have to say I'm really excited about it. That was also the reason why we decided we have to do this event. We cannot wait till next year, April. So I'm very pleased to have the opportunity to talk to you and uh, I'm looking forward to all your feedback. One thing I also wanted to add, now with COVID-19, of course, we added also some additional products on our service side. One very important feedback we also got, we wanted to be even closer to our customers in these difficult years. And especially the packaging printers, they are extremely busy because, you know, everybody is buying food and farmer and so they are quite busy. So I wanted to make sure that we will have the best support for our packaging customers so what we did is, of course we have a 24-7 service, but we have in addition to our technicians, so mechanic, electronics, software, we added also very experienced pressmen. So if there is any issue, not only on the mechanical side, for example, also maybe with a print job, we are available 24-7 for our customers and we got great feedback and I can promise we will continue to do so even after COVID-19. Thank you, Ralf, so far. See us tomorrow and we will see now all the news in packaging printing here at König & Bauer in the next 20 minutes and we will see brand new machines running. Let me introduce to you Dirk Winkler, Head of Print Technology here at König & Bauer Sheetfed. Last time we met and climbed machines is about a year ago on your last open house event here at König & Bauer. I really appreciate remembering that and seeing you back again. Hi Dirk. Hi Sven, nice to see you again. First of all, I would like to reiterate how pleased I am to have all of you here 
for our grand opening of our customer experience center on Radebeul. And I can only underline again to come over to Radebeul to see us here in person. Currently, we are standing in our new packaging competence center in front of our very beautiful new Rapida 106. And we are starting today with our first packaging session, print. And for that, we have prepared highly sophisticated and complex jobs. And those we will see soon, but uh, let us talk a bit about the packaging industry. It's getting more and more important in these days, in these crazy, strange Corona times. Um, as far as I know, um, it was classified as, as system relevant, the packaging printing? Yes. Especially in the last weeks and months, we learned how important it is that our customers are able to supply sustainable raw material and sustainable folding boxes, especially for the food and pharmaceutical industry. And we as Königin Bau, we have the whole portfolio to deliver, especially in the pharmaceutical industry, in the healthcare industry, cosmetic industry, and the food industry, the right packaging at the right time. And especially for the pharmaceutical segment, we will first launch our first new product, our Rapida 76, in the B2 format. And especially for the pharmaceutical sector, for the luxury labels, or for the cosmetic industry. It's a very, very interesting new machine, which is fulfilling every demand and request in terms of productivity, quality, and effectiveness. So we got a little video from, uh, from the editors, which they can yes. show to us now? I would like to ask the director to start a little clip of our Rapida 76. And our Rapida 76 is our masterpiece in B2 format. The machine with the highest level of automation in B2 format for manufacturing of packaging, mainly for the luxury label industry, pharmaceutical industry, cosmetics and healthcare producers. The new Rapita 76 is equipped with all USPs of her bigger sister, the Rapita 106X, and is fulfilling the highest demands of the packaging industry in terms of productivity, effectivity, and has an excellent TCO. And by the way, it's looking great. It's really beautiful, but it's not the only new baby in the, in the big uh, family of König and Bauer. You already mentioned the 106X, the Rapida 106X, which is directly behind the camera. You can't see it yet, but you will in a moment, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you were talking about complex print jobs we're going to do now live. So what are we going to print, Dirk? Yeah. We are just standing in front, and uh, the machine is behind the camera, we are just standing in front of our new launch of our Rapida 106X, and we are going to produce on our centerpiece our two jobs we have prepared. First job for the luxury folding box industry, and this box will include high level of finishing, for instance, cold foil application and coating finishing. Then we will change over the machine completely to a next folding box which is related to the food industry. So we have totally different demands and requests for this type of box. So and you will see how short the make ready time will be until we finish the second job. So the second job is a food folding box where we are going to print with seven color system Equinox, and we fulfill the, re the requirements for and printing in color gamut with extended color gamut. Okay, so we got a lot of things to do in the next couple of minutes, 20 yeah. minutes maybe. How do we start now? Yeah, before we start a machine, let's jump over to our production planning uh, office where Chris is already waiting, and let's talk with Chris what he's going to prepare to have a real digital workflow and a fast and effective folding box production. So to take the camera guy with you and the audience, I'll go over to the machine to the Rapida 106X and wait for your printing job. So see you, you in a minute. See you in a minute.
Hi, Chris. Hi, Dirk. How are you today? Fine, thank you. Chris, today we have our packaging session. Yes. If I want to produce a folding box, folding box for the pharmaceutical or for the food industry, I have to define in advance a lot of product characteristics, yeah. like cardboard surface, like creasing parameters, like thickness of the cardboard, yes. stiffness of the cardboard, sure. colorfulness, color sequences, finishing options. A lot of parameters I have to define. It's a very complicated product. So what can Koenig and Bauer deliver, especially in the production planning? How to come over a very effective workflow? And what are the tools for that? As the number one in packaging printing, we at Koenig and Bauer, we have developed a lot of useful digital helpers. One of them is our packaging module. Yeah, I have configured the jobs in our packaging module and also created a sheet layout. From that sheet layout, we can easily create an imposed PDF and send that out to the plate setter. Theoretically, we could start. Why theoretically? Because as you know, we can do much more. For instance, an intelligent fine planning. Because the question is namely, is our new Rapida going to produce the jobs in that sequence that we have received from our MIS? just based on delivery date? Or is there a better, is there a smarter way to do that? You can imagine there is. There is. And just when we thought and everybody else thought the potential of make ready savings and effectiveness is exhausted already. So Koenig and Bauer comes around and is presenting a totally new feature yes. inside our MIS system. We have a brand new software tool which we can provide now. And this software tool, which is named Job Optimizer, is, let's say, the bridge between our production planning and control software, Logotronic, and our MIS. Job Optimizer is doing much more than the pre-calculation in the MIS based on delivery deadline. We optimize in two more ways. One is that we optimize according to print technical uh, params and also related to equipment related params, like is the machine equipped with SPC for instance, simultaneous plate change and uh, during make ready can run parallel processes. Or what is, uh, we have some te technological parameters like format, substrate, uh, color, maybe quality issues. Mm -hmm. Is it an easy print form or a more complex print form? So let's see what the program is doing. If I push, I should have, and I have. Look at that. I have optimized a uh, job list here, and I have time, sa time savings of 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. As you remember, a job sequence with eight jobs, 82 minutes were pre-calculated, okay. and we have savings of 25 minutes. I assume I have the best production planner here inside my computer, and now we can really start. Okay. We can really start. I have submitted the job list towards Logotronic, okay. our production planning control software, to provide the machines to accelerate make ready, and also to the prepress system to produce the plates just in sequence. And for sure, also our production, uh, our plate logistics system can now provide the machine with plates on demand. Looks really impressive, especially cost savings, increasing the effectiveness, the productivity of the machine, only made with our job optimizer, yeah. newest generation. Yes. Thank you very much, Chris. You're welcome. Dear guests, now we are coming to the highlight of our daily, of our today's session. I would like to welcome you to our market launch of our newest medium size generation Rapida 106X. We know that the highest productivity, shortest make ready times, and highest automation are the key to your success. Over the past five years, and also based on feedback from you, our customers, we have developed the press from scratch. We have questioned 
a lot of things. We have improved things that were already very good. And we have added new functions to the press that are only available from Koenig and Bauer. And we have put a focus on bringing the operating concept to the next level in close cooperation with our customers. The result is a whole new press generation, the absolute benchmark in its class. The result is the fastest packaging sheet-fed press on the market. The result is a whole new dimension for sheet-fed printing presses, a press which will make you even more successful. Our new Rapida 106X. And because we don't want to wait until Drupa 2021, it's now a great pleasure for me to take you part in our live presentation and the world premiere of our new Rapida 106X. Well, thank you, Dirk, and wow, that was quite emotional. Yeah, this is it, the new baby, the Rapida 106X, and this is Sascha Fischer standing here with me. He is the head of product management at König & Bauer Sheetfeld. Hi, Sascha. Hi, Sven. So I think you might be a bit proud of well, your new baby. Very proud yeah? and uh, very excited to present our new masterpiece here, the new Rapida 106X, new generation mid format press. And over the past month, we have listened carefully to our customer where we can still tune it, where, how we can improve with regards to faster make ready, higher production speeds, less maintenance, safe processes, and digitalization of all. And at least a new cool color. <laughs> a new design. I think uh, there it's quite a change uh, to before. Yes, it's, it's really great. So, okay, let's uh, have a look at the machine. And we're going to print the job. Uh, Chris and Dirk are making ready for us. Yes. So let's start here. Yeah, we'll fire away with the production uh, straight away. But while we're doing that, uh, we ramp up production. Uh, gives me the opportunity to explain some details we have uh, improved here. The first thing we did is in our suction head, the separation suckers, we have optimized the curve. So clearly every sheet, especially on heavier substrates, is clearly separated, which uh, obviously then stabilizes uh, high speeds uh, in, in the paper infeed. On top, what we can't see unfortunately here on our non-stop machines uh, with non-stop logistics, we have motorized the rake that holds the auxiliary pile, again there to assure that every sheet enters the machine on the central uh, area of the infeed. We'll go around. Yes, please. If we go around and take a look inside from the other side, uh, two further improvements we have included. For one, the tacked rollers are now motorized, so they are automatically set, change of formats, and on top, the upper sheet guiding as well. Uh, so that's from the feeder side. What you can see here already is the mounting bar for adding an inkjet. So we could number every sheet in the shuffle to make sure, for example, in combination with inspection, every sheet is numberized and can be found, detected later on, also along with the protocol. And it makes all of them collectible. Yes, exactly. <laughs> collectible items. Uh, so obviously then, in the in-feed, we have our proven SIS, our side lay-free in-feed, that assures, without any pneumatic movement, hydraulic movement, that every sheet enters 100% inside. Okay, uh, but this is the basis for really our high speeds up to 20,000 because we save a lot of time without any stress to the sheets. Something strange for someone like me. Yes. It's so high up there. What's that? Well, actually, this is our uh, proven and yet again improved wind foil. Maybe the camera can take a look how it's working there. Uh, it's based on the Optima and apart from what we already had, multi-reels, say you have numerous reels going in, uh, multi-foil use, meaning one foil being used twice or three times, depending how the apps are posed. We also have added indexing, meaning the band stops on the canal to save material, which is especially uh, advantageous for labor production. So this is our new cold foil module there, the Optima. So we got the feeder, we got the foil. Yes. 
and afterwards we got the printing units. Exactly, and there are quite a few things to tell there as well. Let's move on uh, past the cold foil uh, onto a printing unit where we can take a closer look. Let's take that one. Now starting from the top, what you can see there is our specially coded ink uh, duck. Um, so a change of ink, a change of color, especially in packaging, is very easy and can be done below two minutes. Then on top, you can see it bubbling there a bit. Uh, this is our new pneumatic ink duck, especially for high viscosity inks. It's more or less maintenance free and it ensures exact zone settings without losing any calibration or the need to calibrate it from time to time. So it's almost maintenance free there. And that's especially for high viscosity inks, but more and more also conventional ink printers use that because of its friendliness. What else is new at the printing units? Yeah, further down, we have our SRW, simultaneous roller wash. Um, that we have improved again. It's now also available for uh, UV applications where an intermediate dryer below might be active. So again, with the SRW, you can wash the rollers and the ink duct within three minutes. Uh, it works with multiple medias, up to four. So also there, even a deep cleaning uh, for UV rollers can be done automatically. And that's all running in parallel. As a standard, obviously at Koenig Bau, we have disengageable ink units, ink trains, so also that can be done while the machine is producing another job. So the machine just produced our first job and is now making ready for the second one? Exactly. So we already have produced uh, the run, yeah. and now we'll show full makeover uh, for the next job. We'll present then later on, and that's all running in parallel. And that, that an important, very important feature is our simultaneous plate changing meaning the plate cylinders are driven directly by a motor. There is no clutch or complicated gear system involved. And again there, while we're changing plates below a minute, irrelevant, we can wash blankets with our Cleantronic uh, or blankets and impression cylinder or with the Cleantronic both at the same time. And even the plates themselves have changed. Yes. Uh, as part of our, our analysis, we looked also in indirect processes, meaning before and after printing. And one thing printers mentioned to us, well, yes, but we still have to bend the plates. So that's an intermediate process, a source of error, scratching and so on. So we've done away with that. You can now use unbent plates here. So there is no need for doing anything before that. You just put them in. Uh, so that's very easy and straightforward there. So let's uh, take a little walk yes. until the machine is making ready, fully automatic. And, and that gives me the chance also to mention some more things we've done, especially important for the packaging side of things. Uh, now the blanket here is tensioned in a motorized way. So you don't have to go there with a torque wrench or anything. It's a motor, you set it, and actually it's kept on that tension throughout the run. So even if a blanket wars off after time, it gets loose, you always have the same gripper margin, you always have the start of the printing at the same position. So the operator, the printer, saves a lot of time. What, what is he doing now? Well, the printer obviously has to look that the machine keeps up running. I mean, you've got a beast here running up to 20,000 an hour that needs to be fed. Uh, and in order to keep it up and running, the printer needs to be able to focus on his main task to fill the machine, to manage the machine as such. So this is a very special configuration. Yes. Um, we already had uh, the feeder, then we had the foil, we had the printing units, and this is the dryer now? This is already the drying units, yes. So one before, we have a varnishing unit, coating tower. Uh, again, they're on the coating tower. For some time, we use high flow uh, chambers with a smaller volume, high pressure, because obviously you don't want to have waste in your varnish. Uh, that's one. And if there is special uh, coatings applied, we can even have a smaller one to save on that, on that consumables. Uh, on the coating blade, coating blade change without any tools. There is an insertion guide. So the printer puts in the coating plate, presses a button, and can move away. It doesn't need to stay there. Uh, and uh, on top there, let's say if a printer still wants to use strip plates or the combination of polyester coating plates, strip plates, we have a universal clamping system as well as an alternative. So we got a feeder foil, printing units, yes. coater, dryer. dryer, drying unit, and then again a printing unit. What for? 
Well, this is becoming more and more standard in the packaging market. Why? Because it gives you full flexibility. I mean, on, now on a seven color coating, drying, drying, printing, coating, you could do, for example, eight color coating, seven color double coating, and trip off effects, especially with a high edge definition you do with the printing unit as well. So more and more we see this kind of configuration becoming very popular. Now in this sense, of, of course, obviously on top with cold foil, where you need to, can use the first two units for the cold foiling effects as well, metallized effects and so on, and overprint afterwards. So it's very, very common these days, and we're very glad that I mean, our customers really appreciate that flexibility. The machine is still in the make over time? Yes. Make ready time. That was a signal for the plates loading. <laughs> yeah, and that's the high-speed cameras you, you got in your exactly. machines. Exactly, I mean, as, as we mentioned, what is, what is there for the printer to do? And he needs to keep the press running, and obviously they are running at 20,000 sheets, he can't pull sheets anymore to look at it. There's too much waste, there's yeah, too much You would time have to lost. stop it too often. We either stop the machine or you keep it running, producing, whatever. Mm -hmm. So we have this highly efficient uh, system, Qualitronic color control in its next generation. So the camera in the middle there is taking a picture of every sheet, and after 10 sheets, it takes the running average and already starts controlling color. So we're very fast in the good sheet. So this is 20,000 pictures per hour? Yes. Meaning 2,000 calibrating per hour too? Yes. And uh, on top there, uh, this camera, the image of the camera, so you can see here it goes through the slit onto the sheet. We also use that picture for inspection purposes, meaning we also not only measure and control color, we can also use that picture to compare it with the original master sheet, reference sheet, or the original PDF from a customer. And in this configuration, we already have something on top. We've got two additional cameras on the side, 8K cameras. So up to 300 DPI, they detect any errors on the sheet, any deviations on the sheet, from the original PDF, which is also uh, certified by the pharmaceutical industry. Again, obviously, you run protocols alongside, so you can see on the screen, on a virtual pile, where were any deviations. Are these deviations within the limit, outside the limit? And with our numbering, we've seen before the possibility, you can then directly go to the sheets where there's something, take a look at them, and take them out if needed. And even collect the failures. <laughs> yes, exactly that. So, but no, again, I mean, in customer service then, you might get a call from your customer, uh, and their customer say, well, yeah, but the, what you delivered there, I've seen this and this. And then even this protocol can be with a customer service clerk, and he can open that protocol and say, wait a minute, we've seen this, this, and this, I've seen the protocol, it's all within limit, what do you want? Well, the printer, the operator, has to keep the machine running. Yes. If he's doing a good job, it's running 24-7. Yep. How about uh, um, the maintenance? Very good question there. I mean, that was also a great feedback we got from our customers, saying, well, your machines are running great, but then again, obviously, it needs to be maintained. Uh, and there we, we want to support our users, our customers as well. For one, in this new electronic delivery, we'll go in later, uh, we've optimized the chain lubrication, so less strips and so on. And on top, we have looked at the crimper bars. Now, the crimper bars now are long life lubricated. That means you don't need to lubricate them. Uh, also, the lubrication points we have in the machine, or greasing points, we have either taken out or centralized and are now automatically greased by progressive pumps. So all in all, if you take a six coater, for example, the a little bit smaller machine, we have cut lubrication points by over 200. So there are 200 less points to be lubricated and less maintenance. And a lot of time to make some coffee, for example. Take some coffee, and then I think the other thing where we support the printer is we have a new maintenance manager. So already our known maintenance manager, you've been given advice or hints what you should do. Now, this was not customer segment specific. In the future, because obviously the machine running UV, running solid uh, carton, solid board, or let's say normal paper, has different maintenance requirements. So that's also given, let's say, as a guideline to our customers to be then customized on their needs, on their applications. So there's another thing that's new, and that's what I see. <laughs> that's the new light over there. Yes, uh, as I said before, this is our new Airtronic delivery that has been optimized again for sheet guiding and drying, especially on thinner papers or with varnish. 
Uh, so again, that at these high speeds, obviously that needs to grow in, 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 in power along. And what you've mentioned here, our new status display. It's uh, like a traffic light. It's like a traffic light. So with one OU over your press floor, you can see what is the status of the machines. Uh, and obviously, if everything's fine, you don't need to touch it. Uh, otherwise, yes, if there is something, you might want to check. Now, first of all, what does it do? I and mean, it allows the printer, while the machine is running well, to move away. And on top, what is even more important for me than the status light is our Rapida app. On the Rapida app, we have uh, what we call info panel. So on this info panel, he has a mirror of the console. He can see what job is he actually running, what is the job to come, how long does it take to finish that job that is in, how many sheets more to print. That's one function. And also on top, especially in the packaging market, we have our production app. This production app allows you to follow, for example, the inks you're using. Uh, so because you need to know which kind of series of inks you use with that specific job, especially in the food industry. And on top, it also looks on the ink profile, let's say the error coverage, and calculates automatically the ink in the inking units, how long they last. So this tells the printer, wait a minute, printer, on press number three, in unit number two, you need to refill the magenta in 2,000 sheets. Full control, even if he's out in the kitchen making some coffee. <laughs> exactly. It's got all error messages there, stock management as well. So, for example, if he needs to change a blanket, he goes into the storage area, takes out a blanket, it's automatically deducted from the warehouse. So never it should happen that he goes into the stock and there is no blanket left. So that's all controllable by automatic email if a minimum level is reached. So the machine is runnable and controllable via app, via smartphone, but yes. there still is... Uh, um, control console. Exactly. This is our new control console. Well, and this um, is Dirk. This is Dirk. He's still the old one uh, without any hair. But okay. I'll leave you to him to explain okay. uh, the console. Thanks so far, Sasha. Hey, Dirk. Hi. Nice to see you again. I was waiting a long time for you. Yeah, we had to yeah. talk a little bit, to we, chat a bit. Yeah, you know? we did uh, the full make ready during that time and uh, we were finishing. Oh, you the, had to stop? The full make ready in less than seven minutes. Okay, so we talked too long, but too much information. Okay, to give us some more information on the new uh, control console. Okay, yes, beside our new machine design, our developers and the application team has developed a real new operating console, as you can see here, with an enhanced wall screen with more functionality and a touch screen for more intuitive operating for the press. Beside that, we have a new LED lightning for standardized light during every production time, it is day or night, it doesn't matter. And last but not least, the second job, we are going to print in the extended color gamut. So we are going to use seven colors for reproducing almost all Pantone and special colors. So for that, we also equipped the press with a new measurement and control system, which is able to control and measure seven color, color system, for the extended color gamut. So we still stopped the working. I think Marcus is ready to restart the process. Yeah, as you can see, Marcus is relaxed and he just finished the first job. And as you can see, this job was very challenging because it's a luxury packaging. On that type of packaging, we can really introduce almost every kind of application and finishing technology. So you can see very bright our newest cold foil application with our newest Optima Foiltronic and we also applied a full solid high gloss coating on it. After that we imprint on top of the high gloss varnish a matte varnish from the unit number eight and this unit number eight is an external unit where we can overprint with many kind of special varnishes, matte or pigmented coatings. So this gives us a chance to produce the highest gloss matte contrast in the world because of this new technology. And only with this technology, LTT1L, we are able to produce this kind of finishing and refinement. Please try to say LTT1L 10 times very fast. Okay, no, I just try. kidding. Okay, second, second job now. We have just uh, did um, the make ready, and you can see Marcus is uh, very relaxed. So he was only observing the whole process because the whole make ready process and the print process, as Chris explained before, is already pre programmed in our new Ergotronic Outer Run mode. 
So the full procedure, the whole job pool is already in the program. So Marcus, as a printer, is only observing everything is on, on time, everything is right. Or in this case, he had to stop because the second job would have started already. Yes. Otherwise, we had to manual stop because you were still talking with Sasha. There's a lot of interesting things, I understand that. But with less than seven minutes, we were ready to run. But let's run now. Huh? I would say, Marcus, let's run now. So we already wait too long for this. Now we are producing the second job in uh, seven color and we are coating the whole folding box sheet with high gloss coating. It's a food packaging and in the food industry we have to fulfill, we have to be food compliant. So all colors, all coatings we are just using at this job is food compliant. And as you can see now, it is very fast. The machine is running world record, 20,000 sheets an hour. This is real world record in this type of configuration. That's awesome. While the machine is still printing and Marcus is just surveying the whole thing, um, we asked you to give us some questions, ladies and gentlemen. And there are some questions um, already here. Maybe Anne can give us the questions. Yeah, thank you. So, um, Sasha, Yes. We got some questions from you, and you can go on asking your questions. They will be answered later on, too. Some here now in the session. Um, first question. In the world of packaging, there's a constant need to change special colors with the technology. Uh, which technology uh, are you showing today? How long does it take to wash up and change a color in the unit? Okay, I'll, I'll start with that. I think I've mentioned some of the features we already have. So it starts, I mean, obviously, change of ink, change of color, special colors especially. As I said, we have got our Easy Clean, specially coated ink ducts. So there, it's two minutes, uh, less than two minutes, one minute 50, depends, taking out the ink. At the same time, you've got our simultaneous roller wash. So all in all, I would say three minutes. Uh, you disengage this, uh, this unit, so the whole ink train is off. And then you start that process three minutes there from one to the other. And depending on how many units you got, the machine could still be running. Exactly. I mean, that's, that's one thing we also see is that uh, uh, quite a few printers now, if they have this constant ink change or color change, what they do, they take a unit in reserve, which they might not use, but they might use alternating. Let's say five color coater, uh, they have a six color, so they print five colors, four plus special and they already can prepare the sixth unit for the next special. So they're much quicker and they do that alternating throughout the day and are the most productive in the world. So the right answer would be zero time if you got enough uh, <laughs> printing units. Well, another question, second one. Uh, thank you, Sasha. Um, in many cases, uh, printers try and overlap processes to reduce the total time for a job as far as possible. Yes. What parallel processes do you offer to help save time and money? You already mentioned some, some of, of them, them now. Yeah. Now, obviously, it's, it's not really zero time, uh, depending how many units are, because obviously you still need to change the plates for the next job. But then again, with our SPC, again, that that's running in parallel. I mean, plate change on this machine here, less than a minute, but that's irrelevant. You don't talk about plate change anymore because at the same time you wash the blankets, you wash the impression cylinders, you wash the rollers. So it, it all goes in parallel and let's say the longest process determines the rest. Now here in this machine we're also using Duraprint rollers which again have a longer life and shorter washing cycles. So we reduce that and bring that down even further. Or we've got features where for example towards the end of the run length after you finished your job, you can print clean uh, the ink forming rollers. You switch them off, so you take off the residual ink on the blankets, which again leads to shorter blanket washing times. So there are all kinds of sequences, parallel processes, and again, that's the job of the printer, the operator, to manage his machine the best way possible, after it has been optimized by Chris already. <laughs> <laughs> Many interesting tools. Um, last question, gentlemen. Um, Matching and guaranteeing color is very important. How can you guarantee that at König and Bauer? I think uh, the key for that is to have a 100% process standardization. Because if this standardization is not realized through the whole process, there are many, many points 
where you can suffer because of not transferring the right data to the right place. Second, all our components we are using for inline measurement and control, color, register, and content. Third one, we are tracking and logging all quality parameters through the make ready and the full run. And this is very important to hand over this quality passes to the next step and the quality assessment can really see is the whole production zero failure, full in color and register and content. Last but not least, Sasha mentioned already our production app. The production apps is a very, very good tool for transferring all the job data from the print process to the next production step, for instance, the post press equipment. So this closed loop allows us to get any kind of 100% standardization you can have in the printing industry. So that was highest quality in the highest speed, but the most important thing in the end is it's all about the money. Yes. So uh, did we make some money printing here? Yes. First of all, I would like to introduce our last big feature is our Logotronic cockpit. And on the cockpit, me or any production manager has a, in real time the full overview about all per production parameters and the overall equipment effectiveness. In the middle row, we have two uh, speedometers, and this you can see the benchmark process for average make ready time and net output. So as soon as something goes not along to our benchmark, the production manager can really see and react and optimize this process which need to be optimized. This is quite nice, colorful and nifty, but hey, what about the money? Yeah, the money. You see, I already received the press sheet, the cost sheet from Chris from the production planning system, and you can see two bars. The light blue bar is the target. The dark blue bar is the real situation we have created on the machine. So as you can see, we had a savings of about 25% in terms of production costs. And this is pure money saving. So thanks to Chris over there in the MIS behind the stage. Mm -hmm. uh, guys, thanks a lot. It was a pleasure. Thank, thank you, you for the little walk along the machine. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching König and Bauer Live. Stay tuned, be here tomorrow, because tomorrow we will talk about post-press uh, processing and we'll have the whole uh, workflow tomorrow here again. Um, and if you missed something, don't worry, you can watch all these sessions afterwards again online. Thanks that you uh, stayed with us and have a great day. Thank you Thanks. very much. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.